All right, welcome back to the channel, and I'm your host, Coach Evans. So what we're going to do for this second half of the Ravens and Packers game, we're really just going to hit the scoring drives because I got to kind of combine both of these videos. So um, if you haven't seen the first quarter, please go watch that. Second quarter in full, please go watch that. And then this is the third and fourth quarter combined, and these will be the, the scoring drives. And we're just going to talk about what happened on the scoring drives. If it was a three and out or neither team scored, I'm going to kind of skip the speed through it. And um, But we're really going to hit on the scoring drive. So this is the first drive after halftime. Packers went down and scored to make it 21-0. And let's see how they did that. And look, counter play. A play they've run multiple times already. Power counter. It's... um. I think it's count is a counter. And it could be power. It's you know, both of them plays kinda of look the same, but you got I think it's counter. Cause I think he should have came down. He should have been there. He should have been rapping for Queen. Look at Matter BK fight though. Look at Matter BK fight this double team. Look at Matter BK fight that double team. Great job of splitting that double well not splitting, just defeating it. Queen needs to step up right in that gap. Because we got, we got outside contained. Step up right in that gap, Queen. There you go. There you go. It's a good run defense right there. Great job by Matt BK. Great job by Queen by feeling. Fake draw. Let's see if we if we bite on the play action. Because we've been biting on their play action heavy. They draw, yep. Queen and and Bynes bite on it. So now look at this void. Look at this void right here. Because we bit on that play action. Look at that void. And look who right in that void. 17. 17 got right through that through the linebackers without being touched. He tries to go up top. Good coverage up deep though. Good coverage deep. Let's see if I can see what coverage this is. Is it cover four, maybe? No, I don't think it's four. He, de he definitely man. <laughs> he man. And I think Bynes is just saying, I'm trying to wall him off. I'm trying to help out. But these other guys just basically playing an umbrella. An umbrella. Now I understand why far through. I mean, not far. <laughs> and Rogers threw this ball though, because look, he his his body language is telling him that way, and he know this guy run the post. So I definitely understand why he threw this ball. Good, good speed turn by. Is that Stevens? To at least be in the area. Good speed turn. At least be in the area. But I do. Oh, uh, it might be Stone. That's Stone. Good speed turn by Stone. Do not let him run away from him. Good speed turn. All right, the two guys, the two motion, Devontae can motion. Both guys went with him, so these two guys got Devontae. So to speak, I'm, I'm assuming. And yes, they do. <laughs> Both of them do, but for some strange reason, he's allowed to get outside leverage again. Both of them lined up inside. He inside and he inside. So I'm going to just run a little out route. I'm just running a little out route. Too easy. That's too easy. Too easy. See if we can see that alignment. They're a little bit out of the screen, but you can tell because you see... Both of them right here. You don't see Devontae, so <laughs> it must release outside. What's the purpose of doubling him and both of y'all inside? I don't I don't understand the purpose. It's too much. Who got out of their gap? Who got out of their gap? Alright, they got Tight end, receivers. So, even though these are receivers, that gap still got to be accounted for. So, we're going to say that. 
We're going to say that. Well, I'm, I'm assuming right here now because I don't know if it's a stun or anything. So I'm going to say that. So with that being said, this gap's empty. So I'm going to assume that's Queens. This gap empty. So I'm going to assume that's Bynes. We don't have anybody for this C gap right here. Unless it's Seymour. Unless, it's, unless they're going to do that. But let's see. On that motion. The gap I said that we ain't had nobody for. That's what that's where it hit. It hit right behind 73. It hit right there, watch. They double team out of BK. Hitting right there. And I, I said maybe 38 got that, but 38 on Tight end, that's a loss. That's a loss. Queen get back in there and try to make where Queen come from. Let's see where Queen come from. Queen bit on the uh, jet sweep motion, but you gotta respect it. You gotta respect it. But good job, good effort to get back in on the play though. Good effort to get back in on the play. Looking at first down again. Initially, it's a good job on the front side of making them cut back, but we got to see where the backside people at. The front side of that play, which is the left side of the line, did good. I'm scanning. I'm scanning. Tight end right here. There. 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 So you got a question mark here. Question mark there. And a question mark there. But we got we got enough people. Because you can go boom, boom. Boom, but that puts 38 in the line with either a tight end or a tackle again. Look at Matty BK. He was winning this matchup all night long. He was winning this matchup all night long. Look at him press that guy up out of there. That's why he got to cut back. Because of Matty BK. And then you got Oway out there with the victory. And you got Oway with the victory. Houston? Let's see. Not Houston, that's Bynes. I mean, not Bynes, Bowser. That's Bowser. That's Bowser. So if, if he's outside, I'm going to assume he got this gap. He can't shoot in there unless it's somebody that's going to feel it. He can't. He does. He does. So if he has this gap and he has that, does Queen have this outside C gap? Or does Stevens have it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Queen had it. I'm gonna say Queen had it. That's what I'm gonna say. But now nah, that's still too much. They got they on the 45, 46, or so second and five. Look like that's just the inside zone right there, and they picked up about five more yards. Just like just straight inside zone. Got a double on Matter BK. Got a solo on on uh, Jelly. Who has this gap? I'm assume, keep in mind when I when I point these gaps out, I'm assuming because I don't know if they're supposed to be a slant, a stunt, or nothing. I'm just assuming based off alignment. But every gap should be taken up by a defender. Every gap should be taken up by a defender. So we look like we got it right on this back side. And on the front side, you got that. But you got you all, you got a safety or something for the field. That. That's that's been the problem. Them getting up on the safety. But I guess we don't have enough people to to put another guy in there, I guess, because of the injuries and whatnot. Mine's just slow to react. I guess he trying to read Rogers. I guess to see if Rogers gonna keep it. Mine's and Oway. Now we know Aaron Rodgers is not fleet of foot, but this fake freezes Oway and Bynes and allows uh, Dylan to hit that for five yards. 
And this is what quarterback, young quarterbacks, I know it probably ain't no young quarterbacks watching this, but you got to carry your face out, even if you're a runner or not. That fake held two people and allowed that lane right there. Fundamentals. Basic fundamental football. Because a lot of kids are just hand that off and start watching. That fake, Aaron Rodgers with a run fake held off two people. It's a great tackle, even though he got the first down by Avery. It's a great tackle. You know they got this. A great tackle by Avery. And I look at first down. First and ten. I think it's first and ten. Yeah, first and ten. Yeah, first and ten. Mm, like a hold of me. Like a hold to me. Good run through, Bynes. That look like a hold to me. So we'll see from the back view. Way to hit that thing, Bynes. Make him make a decision. But again, 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 again. Let me back up. I can't even back it up fast enough. You got Stone and Seymour in the box. If the tight end alignment get their hands on them, it's a wrap. Got a double team on 98, which is um, um, B-Wheel. He hit that thing, boy. Boy, he hit that thing. That's that's holding to me, I think. I think that's holding. What y'all think? I think that's holding. And he just happened to pick the right one because Queen, Queen was right there waiting on him for he hit that gap. And he hit the right one. I think they missed a hole on that one. So they get a first down on that. Nah, second and one again. Vontae up there by himself. So that's one-on-one -on -one up top now. And they just run it. Get the first. They only got two, but they need one. Hit, hit it, Bynes. Hit it. Hit it. But I guess you got to respect the play, the play fake, too. You got to respect the play fake. Because he been play faking the crap out of him. Got to get off blocks. Get off that block, Houston. And he does. He only get two yards, but they need, they need the one. Now, looking at first and ten, they just marching on down the field. Mm. Mm. Play action again. Now, watch. Watch these guys step up on the play action because they've been running it pretty good. And there's going to be a huge void right now. And that's where Adam's going to get the ball. Look at him. Run reads up in the box. Adam's behind him already. Look at the hole. Look at all that he got to work with. Look at all that he got to work with. And Rodgers ain't going to miss this. Right on time. Right in, in between one, two, three, four, five people. Because of because they're able to run the ball. And the play fakes, their actual they'll act their actual play fakes look like actual run attempts and not just pop fakes. So you gotta respect it. You gotta respect it. Now they know it's past now, but it's too late. Right across his ear. Right across his ear. First down again. They just marching on down the field. Now we ran this we ran a similar play to this earlier. We ran the stick, the out, the out, the go, and then we ran slants on the backside. We ran slants on the backside. He ran the skinny pose on it with a slant. See, Vontae run the, and started making it look like a slant, then he's going to stick the post, which he had a lot of area to work with if he got time. If he got time. But this is covered. This is covered. This is covered. This is covered. 
But, at, you know, if Adams can cross his face, he got a lot of room to work with. So it's, that's good D. That's good D on the back end. But, again, you don't expect this guy to do it, but he can do it. He can run. Again, when he don't slide, you got to punish him. Who is this, Bynes? If he don't slide, you got to punish him. You got to. He can't can't let him easily roll out of bounds like that. You got to punish him. Oh, that's a sack. That's no yours. That's a sack. But Bynes, they called it a sack. Trying to run a little jerk route by Devontae. What a jerk route is, is you're going to come in and settle. Then you're going to kind of fake one way or the other, then shoot the other way. And you normally shoot toward the middle of the field. Fake. Pump fake. Great job by Bynes covering it. Great job by Bynes covering it. Ball's thrown on the outside to this little out route. Throwing on time. It's low. Not bad coverage by Avery. Ain't much you can do with the timer route, especially if it's thrown on time. But everything else covered. So good job, defense. Everything else covered. Nobody running free through the secondary. And the ball came out on time, so the pass was probably going to be an option. Oh, Bowser almost. Bowser still got there. Watch, look at Bowser winning. Come underneath get, with violent hands. Really didn't have no choice but get that ball out because Bowles would have got a sack. Trips right. Mm. What they call on this? This is the, the bull crap. Um, they call it pass interference or hold? They call it pass interference on 38. This is crap. Focus, everybody focus right here. They call pass interference on this guy. Man, outside release, he's still good. Still good. He breaks down. Still good. Great coverage. Great coverage. Dude just dropped the ball. Great coverage. Great coverage, 38. Seymour, great coverage, man. You got screwed on that one. You got screwed on that one. Dude just dropped the ball. Now you're looking at first and goal from the nine. Gifted him a touchdown, referees. Gifted him a touchdown. And then he got a rub route. Got a rub route. By 13. 13 is going to rub the, um, whoever's defending the running back. And I think it's Bynes. So 13 is going to rub Bynes. Bynes going to fall. Or pick. Whichever term you deserve, you want to call. There it is right there. And the fact that he attempts to get out the way, you can't really call it because he tried to get out the way. So I wanted to make it look like it. Actually, it's two picks because he's picking the guy guarding this dude too. So he picked both of them. So if Bynes don't fall, Aaron still got this dude going to be running wide open too. And they scored. I made it 21-14. Made it 21-14. I think Bynes has tried to grab him, which would which, which have been a good play. I think he just tried to grab him. That would have been a good play if he could have got his hands on him to grab him. All right, so next drive is a scoring drive for us, so we'll watch this one. We'll watch it too. Turn on this one. Guys in the end zone. All right. So let's see. Formation wise. Two by two, but you got two tight ends. You got tight end here, tight end here. I think we're going to get, um, is this some kind of power? You got power. 
Hollywood don't want no parts of this dog. <laughs> Watch. Hollywood don't want no parts of that guy coming across. Watch that. No pause. And with him going that wide, Cleveland shouldn't even really have to block him. With him going that wide. He shouldn't have to. The play fake, the Hollywood should should take him because it's dip. Cleveland should be up here looking for somebody. We got a good run, though. Murray running that thing hard. Everybody else blocking good. But look at the end zone angle. Sharp winning. Bozeman winning on the down block. Actually, we had three guys block this cat. But now Sharp got him by himself. Zyla going to try to work up. Uh, I think that's Boyle going to try to work up. I think that's Boyle. Yeah, that's Boyle. Got a hell on the hat. Got to have a better block on the second level, though. Got to have a better block right there. That's who make the tackle. All right, so now we're looking at second and two, eight yards by Murray on that. Another heavy set. I want to say the split zone, I think. I think it's split zone. Good job of holding your water line. No, it's ISO. It's ISO. He crossed. I love how Bozeman kind of pat his feet in place to see what he do. Because if he come here, Bozeman got to block him. But he went away. So now he's Zeitler and Bozeman go, you know, there and up. Watch how Bozeman pat, pat his feet. All right. Now he gone. So now I go. I go there. And Boyo should feel up in there on whoever shows. And Mary going to hit right behind him. Mm, look at that. That's natural leverage. So good job. Who is this? Who is that? Who is that? That's Bozeman. Good job, Bozeman. Good job, boy. And Murray hit that thing. Great blocking. Great blocking up front right there. Again, O line ain't play bad. They ain't play great though. But they ain't play bad either. Now, this is power. Well, count no, this is counter. This is counter. This is counter. Let me see what Murray. Nah, that's power. That's straight down here for Murray. That's power. Good job of not letting them continue to wrong shoulder the power and the counter. So this is a good job by Boyle. Watch Boyle's block from the back view. Remember early in the game, they were trying to throw that shoulder in and make us bounce out? Boyle has adjusted. Look how tight he is. So now he can't really wrong shoulder because look how tight he is to, to Zeitler pulling. Got a good down, Cleveland holding his down block. A.V. and the tight, other tight end, Thomason, with a double right there. Boy, you're going to kick him out. Zyla going to fit right in right there. And you're going to have Murray hit it right behind him. It's a good job. Good job of blocking up front. By all parts. That's Raven football right there. That's Raven football right there. Two by two again. Right now with trips. Trips and up. Got the stick concept up top. I like it. I think it's snagged, though. I think it's a snag. Snag concept up top. I think he's using it as an RPO, though. Because you got your, your flat route. This is the re guy right here. If they were going to throw it, Hollywood's going to nestle right up under him. And he got he got to go. But they run it as an RPO because they, they run a counter down here at the bottom. So he really should have pulled this. He did pull it and hit it. He did pull it. Good job, Huntley. Good decision. Good decision, Huntley. Again, because this guy just starts saying, forget it. I'm going to get in the puller's pocket, and I'm going to go hit it. That's a poor read all day long, if I ever seen one. Look at his shoulders. He not coming at the mesh point. He going that way. He think the running back going to be. And he going full speed. That's a pull all day long. Pull and replace, remember? 
Pull and replace. Pull and replace. So he basically just got to replace this guy. And just replace where he came from. Go block somebody and stop looking. Bozeman. Now we're looking at first and 10 from the 36. The play action. Let's see if they bite on it. Watch the linebackers. Do the linebackers bite on our play action? Mm, a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. By them biting on it, look at the void we get, though. Look at the void we get because they bit on it just enough. But I don't think this is the primary guy because he's looking at the bottom. Let's see what Mark doing. Mark running the curl. Ooh, he shouldn't have threw that ball. He got it in there, though. He got it in there because it looked like this dude could undercut it. Hmm. But look at the potential. And I know we want the ball out quick. I know. So I don't want to talk out the side of my neck. But look at the potential to get a, a deep one over here. And I'm not saying he wrong by throwing this. I'm not. I'm just saying look at the potential. That's all. Because I don't want to contradict myself. Because we want. I, I'm a proponent of getting the ball out quick for him. But I do. Let me let me go back to that. I do like the fact that we do this a lot, and this over route is Andrews. So now Andrews having so much success, putting him over here by himself draws a lot of attention. And look how open it was for a speedy guy like Hollywood. To do the same type thing Andrews do, but this time they probably ain't gonna catch it. So I do like the adjustment. I do like the adjustment. I do. Cause these past couple weeks, eight and nine been going off. So you're gonna have he gonna command respect in the passing game. No matter who at quarterback. No matter who at quarterback. First down. Let's see what kind of run concept this is. Let me see, keep my eye on Cleveland in this one. I was supposed to be watching Cleveland a lot. I kind of got away from it a little bit. Good job right there, Cleveland. Cleveland getting movement. That's what you need. He getting movement. He got movement. Let's look at everybody else. AV high as hell. Like barely even got Ben in his knee. Bozeman with the uh, the double team. So Zayla has him. Uh, Thomason up on the linebacker. Sharp got this guy. We got a hat on the hat. Uh, he going to lose this battle every time. Marquise blocking. Hollywood blocking. He going to lose. So he looking, trying to see what the – well, I guess he didn't lose the ball. He didn't try to get off of it. 26 ain't trying to get off the block either. <laughs> so that would be a, a plus for Hollywood because <laughs> this guy ain't trying to get off the block. I got empty. Some quick. Some quick. You got flat hits. You got some quick. You got quick out right there too. So you got three options to get the ball out quick. Three options. But he looking up top, so that and that's taken away because he can take that. So don't throw that, please. Still on it. Oh, he waiting on the pivot. Okay, I see what he waiting on. I was wondering why he was still looking up there. He knows a pivot. So he's going to fake the out route. Boom. Stick his foot in the ground and work back. If he lead him a little bit, this could be dangerous. That could have been dangerous. If he get it to where he can catch it on the run, and, and that could be dangerous. Mm, oh, the defender got back. The defender reacted. So that's a good, good play by 21. I think it's a good play by 21. I was wondering why Hunter would just kept staring at that. But you do. You got the option to ball out quick right there. You got a guy in the flat over here. And you got a deeper route, which in case them quick routes were covered. And you got Andrews probably working across. But I see what he what he what he looking on. What he looking at rather. Yeah, defender all over that. Defender's all over that. Defender did a good job of um reacting to the pivot. How many guys they got on the field? One, two, three. 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, they got eleven. Same concept that we just talked about. The same one we just drew up at the bottom. You're gonna have Bateman running the little, little hitch, curl right up under it. You got him going to the flats. Same little concept we just talked about. And they reading this guy. Reading that guy. Bateman should sit right behind him. Which he does. That's what Hollywood, I mean not Hollywood, that's what Huntley's trying to go. Uh, I think he catch it. Yeah, Bateman catches it, but we still two yards short. Still two yards short of the first, short of the first down. That's another ball out quick situation. Catch rocker step. So we're going. Are we going for it on this? Oh, this is false start. They call false start on Ben Cleveland and we kick the field goal. So, so now it's 21-17. It's 21-17. 21-17. You know what? I said I was only doing the scoring drives. It looked like there was a score on every drive this second half. One way or the other. There was. So we look like we about to do the whole second half, people. Fast forward through this. Oh, I wish we could have got that. That would have been a big momentum swing. Big momentum swing. Now they got it first and 10 from the 12. They ran a little jet sweep, I think. Yeah, jet sweep. Bynes did a good job of reading it. Bynes did a good job of reading it. Good job, Bynes and Stevens. Bynes make the play. Though. Even though Stevens going to make the tackle, Bynes makes the play. Because if Bynes don't go with it, that, that will put this tight end that you bad to see almost out your screen, he'll be able to block Stevens one-on-one -on -one with no help. But because Bynes read it and came with it, now it's two-on-one -on -one and we just got the inside out. Just got the inside out. Not a bad job. Looking at second down now. The hitch. Real simple. Playing off, throw the hitch. Got the first down. Seventeen's in the game now. That's they kinda went at that guy. He's like the eighth corner. They kinda went at him. Ain't really much you can, you know. Much more you could do. Much more you can do. On the boot. Got to respect the boot. Got to respect the run, which they do. And again, now they have four receivers kind of in the same spot too. But but he booted that way, so there's really no option to, that you know, Aaron could throw it back over here. But they completed theirs. And he got some yardage. You got a flat route. You got an over. Oh, they're trying to leak Devontae across. Okay. Devontae's trying to leak across. So if they, if they took them three short routes, Devontae would have been buck naked going backside. And Aaron can make that throw. And this is a little dive play. Well, Dylan just find the right hole. Or is it, it might be Wham. Might be wham. No, it's not wham. It's lit dive play. Just dive. And Lazard just going to fall in. I think that's Lazard. And Dylan just cuts right off his butt. Great cut by Dylan. Bynes going to not get double team. I mean, not get blocked, though. I like that. Blind see it happening. 
play with his hands. Good job, Bynes. Good job. Good job. Not letting 70 put his hands on you. It's a good job. When you play with your hands, good things happen. Even though it hurt like heck. So the third quarter is almost gone. 21-17 Packers. Good pressure. Good pressure. Was that a screen? Or did, did uh, Williams win? No, it wasn't a screen. Williams just won. Good pressure, B-Will. We got pressure with three. <laughs> we can't get pressure with four. We got pressure with three just then. Mm. Mm. Okay, we got to respect the boot. I mean, we got to respect the play action. And Queen didn't respect it because Queen didn't see it. Queen was still communicating. Queen didn't see it. So the right now, everything's covered. But that. But Aaron Rodgers ain't looking at that right now. So oh, this is a screen. That's a screen. Good at your tight end. That means your tackle. But based off a of conversation me and Ken had, and I had to go back and do my research, I would have thought this was legal. These guys can't, in the NFL, these guys can't release till the ball's caught. So this should be a legal man downfield. And I thought, you know, because the ball was thrown behind the line of scrimmage, they can get up the field. But going back and looking at it, based off a conversation me and Kim McCusick had, he can't release until the ball is caught behind the line of scrimmage. He's early. That's a legal man downfield. Not called. And had me and Ken not had that conversation, I, I would have thought this was a clean, clean play. But it's not. In the NFL, that's a penalty. And if if you guys find find otherwise while I'm wrong, please put it in the comment section. I ain't I ain't past being wrong. Put it in the comment section and show me where I was wrong. I'd appreciate it so I can make sure I'm right the next time I say it. But I think I'm right this time. I think. Queen doing a good job of trying to play it and not being blocked. Just got so much. They got they did so much movement with the the D lineman in front of them. Because the movement they got on Matter BK is tough for Queen to get over there and keep him at a loss for yards. Queen did his job. But Dylan Thigh is about as big as Queen body. That's a tough tackle, especially up high. But if you tackle him low, you run into one of them lumberjacks he got for a thigh. The thing is, with with, with you got to respect it because Aaron's when he give it, it looks just like the play action. That's the same steps, everything. The only difference is the ball be in this hand instead of that hand. The steps are the same. It, it look, you get the same look. Now, you don't know again if it's play, if it's run or pass, because this is he looks the same every time he do it. Consistency. Consistency. And we did a good job on his run. Good job, Queen. Good tackle. No, no game. Let's watch Queen on this. Queen reading 70, if I'm not mistaken. Reading 70. 70 come over, I'm coming with him. Playing with his hands. 76 trying to block him. Get off me. Now come here. Great play. Great play by six. Great play by six. Great play. Empty there on the what forty five? Let me see where we at. It might be in the fourth quarter. Yeah, I'm in the fourth quarter. We're in the fourth quarter now. We're in the fourth quarter. Yeah, we're in the fourth quarter now. All right, I was on the wrong sheet. So they went no huddle on this. We got a false start, I think. False start on Devontae Adams. Right, looking at third and nine. Third and nine. We give up a big play to Valdez Scantley. So I think this is Valdez Scantley. He's going to get the ball. Let's see. Oh, 
it jumps on me right here. So some kind of way. Oh, I remember them doing a replay on this. They got man. He got that man. He just wins on a, a dig route. Because you got a double right here. So you barely a two man, but you got a double right there. You got a double right there. Bl rushing. Only two people are rushing right now. So he had all day, really. He just makes a good throw. He just made a good throw. I wonder, is that 17? Who is that getting beat? That is 38. That's Seymour. Always spy look like it. Look at the placement. Dude don't even have to break stride. And look at the separation he got. Look at all that separation. Almost the whole hash from hash to hash, he got separation. But again, these are six, seven, and eight string corners. Going up against number two and three receivers. You just got to hope and hold on. Hope and hold on. That's it. And who who let this guy be buck naked? Who we'll let him? That's obviously a communication issue right there. Obviously, they just they getting down the field too easy. Too easy. We've been having two guys on him most of the game, and now nobody's on him. Looking at first and ten from the eleven. Get a play fake. Get a play fake. Not bad coverage by Stevens. The throw's better, but not bad coverage by St not Steven Seymour. Seymour. This is this is that's where the ball going right there to those two. Not bad coverage. In, in phase, in phase, but look at the throw. Look at the throw. He didn't catch it, but look at the throw. And that dude, that dude can put the ball wherever he wants it, pretty much. Wherever he wants it. <sighs> Going back to 17. Going back to 17. They running dragon down here. Dragon concept is a out slant. That's what dragon concept is. He is just he in quicksand. He flat footed. He flat-footed. He really can go either way. He can go out or in. But he definitely got the in right now. And a great throw. He that ain't bad. Look, he, this dude all over him. That ain't a bad bad that ain't bad coverage. I thought it was. That ain't bad coverage. It's a great freaking throw. That's a great freaking throw. That ain't bad coverage. Look at that. That's not. He catches the ball now, the dude's on him. That's not bad coverage. It's just he can't reach the ball. Only the receiver can. That's not bad coverage. This is a better throw. So now it's 20. Let's see. Now it's 28-17. 28-17. 28 So we go down and we don't do anything. So I'm going to fast forward through that. We don't do anything with the ball this next this next drive. We don't do anything with it. See the incompletion of Hollywood right there. Now we're I think that was third down, so we should be putting. Oh, we went for it. We went for it. I think we went for it on fourth and six. We went for it on fourth and six. All right, they got it. They got it back on the 29. This is their first play. So we went for it on fourth and six, didn't get it. Play action. Now it's a better job of covering. He's covered. Got that box in, got that box in. Only person's open is the little shallow route right here. Lit, you know, lit, it's a little outlet. But the thing is, the outlet gets a lot of yak. That's a two-yard throw. Missed tackle by Queen and Avery. 
Miss Tackle by Stevens, Miss Tackle by Board, Miss Tackle, well, whoever that is, get him down. I think that's 96. So we're the Miss Tackles on this play. This is the guy right here. That's the guy that made the play. Mercedes Lewis, I think. Yeah, Mercedes Lewis. One, two. That's two missed tackles. Three, four, five. Five guys missed tackles. D linemen have to end up getting them down. Good job against the run right there, though. Good job of just not laying down against the run. Good job of not just laying down against the run. Because this could have been a back, back break or drive. They still fighting up front. Washington still fighting. The same guy that, that ran uh, Lewis down. They're, they're up there fighting. Second and goal. Got penetration backside. The penetration, this right here forces him to come to bubble around, which helps the play. So whoever this is, I don't know who it is yet. It's, this is the guy that wins this play. Because if, if Adams is, is can come straight down there, he ain't going to cover him. That, and I think this is Houston. That guy and Houston make the play. Because Houston see him and go ahead and hit him. I forgot I forgot Houston did that. Okay, Houston see him coming. I'm going to go ahead and bang you. Because you're a threat. I know who you are. And that helps these guys to cover him. He's covered. He's covered. But that these two guys is the one chasing Adams. And because of the penetration by this guy, then Houston banging Tay, they really don't have a play. Good job of rallying to the ball. So good job. It's like Washington again. So that's three big plays by Washington in a row. Three big plays by Washington in a row. Three big plays. Now we're looking at they're looking at third and third and goal from like the eleven. They're going empty. Mmm. Mmm. Look at that space. I don't know if he go. Do he go there? Oh, he went up top. He had Tay. It would have been a hard catch. It would have been a difficult catch, but he had him. But you got to slam, you got to slot fade too up top. You got to slot fade up top. Both guys jumped the, the little end on it. He just missed. This one of the ones Rob just missed. We'll take it, though. We'll take it. We'll definitely take it. Now they going for they going for the field goal after this. All right, do we get it? we get it and do if you do anything with it? Yes, we do something with it. All right, let's see what we got. Straight drop back. Nothing really out quick. Hollywood, that's they got we got a you know, pass interference on that by Amos. Second player to drive. Got a hitch. Got, got outs and fades. Fade out. I think this Tylen Wallace. It might be his first catch that I remember him of his career. Might be Tylen's first catch of his career. Maybe. Ball out quick right here. You got you got an out route by Marquise. You got a hitch right there. You got a, a space. You got, really got spacing, and you got out there. So you, you're giving them opportunities to get the ball out quick. The theme is true. You get opportunities to get the ball out quick, and he did, and he did for the most part. Rock a step, fire, and you can kind of use this as a running game too. You can use that stuff as a running game, too. Outside zone. We don't run a lot of this anymore. Don't run a lot of this anymore. Got a good double. AV, you got to work. Got to keep working. Got a good double right here. Got a good double right there. Good job of reading it. Good job of reading it, Murray. Good job of reading it. Finish your blocks, though, guys. 
Good job of reading it. It's a good run. Good run by all parts. O line and running back. First down right here. Two by two again. Ball out quick. Hitch. Another hitch. Just keep the momentum going. No need, no need to really even talk about it. Just gonna watch the rocker step and fire. You just gotta be on time though. Cause if they guess right on one of them hitches, it's it's pick six. If they guess right. The defenders, I mean. Let's see. They have an opportunity to get it out quick here. He could have. He could have dropped it off to to uh, Wallace if he wanted to. But I don't. If this was a curl, maybe. But I think it's. A, I think it's an in. And he getting pressure now. So good decision. Good decision. Now, I don't know if he, he, did he throw this ball? Did he throw that ball? I'm not sure. I don't remember. No, nah, he ran it. It's not a bad decision. Not a bad decision. I don't, I'm not, I don't fault the decision. Even though Mark, you know, had leverage. I don't fault the decision. Right now is I got to keep the ball. Can't, can't risk a turnover. Can't risk a turnover. And we got a, he got a first down out of it too, so. Two by two again. All hitches. All hitches. And you really, once you throw it to Hollywood, he pretty much going down. Somebody somebody kept saying in my chat box that he was hurt. I don't know how hurt he is, if he's even hurt. But he don't really make too many too many people miss unless he just run like run through an arm tackle. And he uses speed when he do that. But positive yards. Second and five now. Two by two again. You got uh fade out up here. You got an in. I'm not sure what Key's doing. You got the check down right here with with um Freeman. Uh feeling the waiver losing as normal. Another good decision to keep the ball. First down. Another good decision to keep the ball. Feeling the waiver getting um banged on over here. They ain't real no real pass rush move. You just losing. Sharp got a knockdown though. We'll take that. Sharp, who's the right tackle, got a knockdown on that play. First and ten from the 18. 17, 18. Three by one. Ball out quick on the out route. He just he just can't make nobody miss. Well, I ain't gonna say nobody. He couldn't make that guy miss. Ball's coming out on time. Like when you do that, pass rush don't have pass rush is, is null and void. Especially if your receivers can get can get space. The pass rush is null and void if you can get the ball out like that on time. Now we're going empty. Going Hollywood again. I didn't realize he caught this many balls in a row this drive. Got this slant coming underneath the curl. Up top, you got um, what you got up top? I like Gator concept with the ends and the corner. But this is your that's your best bet right there, and that's what he hits. And we get a first down, another first down. We've hit them five, 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 five. We had five on this drive. Right up on the 51. Yep. Right up on the 51. Now we're looking at first and goal, maybe. Wait a minute. Why are we backwards? Why are we come back? Have we got a penalty that play? Oh, it's that legal shift. So I guess people wasn't set. Wallace. Now we try it again. Try something similar with Hollywood. Cause you got Hollywood on the linebacker, so I don't like. I like the matchup. Fifty the ones got guarding Hollywood. Hey, go to it. See if he got run the guy. That's. I think that should have been a jerk, and it wasn't much of a jerk. It was like a hitch, and I'm gonna just try to outrun you. 
You got something, not much. Somebody was in the end zone, though. Who's in the end zone? Oh, no, it's coverage back there. Never mind. It's coverage back there. I was thinking that was Bateman, but he covered. It's a free safety back there. Now we go with this bunch formation. Wallace over right now. If you can hit Wallace right now, you got something. Ah, uh, it gets knocked down. Ah, uh, they batted it down. They batted it down. And 31 come up anyway, so he might not have got too much. Maybe I was jumping the gun. Maybe I was jumping the gun. Yeah, 31's right there. He might have got his clock clean. I take that back. I take that back. Wallace would have got a uh, cleaned up on that one. Now we're going empty. Mark is fourth and five. Got to win, big boy. Got to win. I'm putting you up there in the top two and maybe not number two. So you got to win. Good release. Good release. Good throw. Big time players make big time plays and big time games. Look at him right here. There he is right there. Good, good jab step on a jab step on a release. Use his hands to get inside. Ball need to be on point. Ball's right between the eight and the nine. Right between the eight and the nine. Good, good throw, Huntley. Good throw, good route, good throw, good everything. First down from the four. Mm, all this open spot because um. Uh, whoever was calling the game was talking about them not containing the whole game. And they, this time it bit him in the butt. Not containing the whole game, it bit him in the butt. All right. So we score right there to make it 24-31. 24-31. Where's my fourth quarter? Oh, the fourth quarter page. Is it? I must didn't print it. The Green Bay does nothing. So let's skip on through Green Bay. They don't do nothing this drive. They don't do nothing. Let's get there. We're sitting at 57 minutes. Almost trying to get it to an hour. We're going to be a little over an hour, though. Let's get it, buddy. So Huntley gets a scramble. A nice scramble. I think we start this drive inside the 50. Or right at the 50. Right at the 50, see, no? Nothing's there. And stayed in bounds, got extra yards. But no, he didn't. They called him out. You see the guy waving his hand, they called him out. Second play from the 34. Trips right. Got the, got the opportunity to get it out quick because you got another hitch right here. And you got Andrews, but it's going to be a little slower coming across there. He takes the hitch. A little bit late, though. A little bit late, but complete. A little bit late, but complete. Because they were playing soft, soft, soft coverage. And again, with the ball coming out like that, the protection, you know, unless you just give up a straight run over, you should be good protection-wise. Second and eight. Empty. Four receivers to the left. I'm assuming, I'm assuming we're going to work something here or you're going to get some kind of quick, Move by Bateman because I don't remember exactly the play and I'm not looking at him because I'm out of my sheets. I didn't print the, the the back end of the fourth quarter, so you got it could come out quick right here on your hitch. Could that's an opportunity to get it out quick. You got that over top, but that's covered. I'm not sure what's going on right here. And Bateman's got locked up too. You got two guys right there. So yeah, this they covered this. They covered it. Hunt is trying to find a escape. Using his feet. That's all he could do. Their coverage matched our route concepts on that. Their coverage matched our route concepts. They're rushing four. Not bad, Sharp. 
Not bad, Villanueva. The pass pro ain't bad. The pass pro not bad right there. Their coverage just matched our concepts. Now we're going to empty again. This is pretty much the same play uh, Mark got the first down on, on fourth down. Just hit him right there and got another first down. Got another first down. You give him space, you can't really guard him. Especially when he get good throws. If you can catch good, get good catchable balls, he's normally money. He's no, normally money. Look at, and I know why they're doing this, because they're looking for a one-on-one -on -one up here. They playing soft, so you can't. You don't have to fade. You could throw the slant. You could throw the slant up there if you wanted to. He's looking up there too. Now he's coming off of it. Proche running that seam. Does, does he make this throw to Proche? Is this the throw to Proche? Oh, he missed it. But we'll take it. Oh, this is the play Mark got hurt on. Now, if eight back there, I know eight throwing this ball right here, because eight liked it, like to make these throws. But he took the for sure thing right there. And he threw it on time. And he threw it on time. And he threw it on time. Eight would have threw the ball to Pro Se, I guarantee you. And I'm not saying that he's wrong by doing it. I'm just, I'm assuming. Ball out quick. Another little, little I want to say it's like a screen with the with the two receivers. They go, they run, they run in their routes, but they really just run to rub these guys, and you get it out to the running back right now in the flats. Just steal from what the Packers did earlier. They did one. They did this earlier. Oh, I don't think it's a screen because Hollywood asked for the ball. I mean, he's just doing a great acting job. So that's a good job of just recognizing and getting the ball out. Is this one of them zero blitz things? Mm, could be. Yep, everybody's at the line of scrimmage. And he just recognized it and get it out. Good job, Hunter. I don't think this was a screen. I think he just recognized it was a blitz and got it to his check down ASAP. Good job. Good IQ, uh, Hunter. Recognized blitz and got rid of it. Hit the free man. Sitting at 102. Hour and two minutes. We're almost done. We know we all know what's coming soon. Got a little spacing concept. Well, you got Proche running through there. Got Mark being doubled. Now Mark being doubled. Hollywood just kind of running and looking. Bateman has Bateman running the fade. So because they're doubling Mark, look at the alley that Huntley has. And I drew that wrong. Look at the alley Huntley has. All Huntley has to do is beat this dude. And he technically kind of kind of kind of guard um Freeman. He can't just leave it. Second rushing touchdown this game for Huntley. Clutch. 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 Now here's the play. After this, here's the get my papers out the way. This is the, this is is what it is. Do I agree with? Even though he, they they've released the video of him asking everybody what to do and what they want to do, ultimately this is your decision. I don't necessarily agree with it. I don't agree with it. I know ultimately it's the coach's decision, and he asks everybody what he wanted to do, want to be a players guy. I don't agree with it. Let's start off by the alignment. Okay, if we're going to do this, get Mark a little tighter. Get Mark a little tighter. Give him more room to work with. That way, if he get out here and do cover him, he can kind of sit and be open. Or he can kind of work back line or something. But that's not enough room to do that to me. Maybe a twitchier guy like a Hollywood, maybe a Devontae or a Bateman or you know, a twitchier guy, maybe. Mark not a twitchy, twitchy guy. So give him more room to work with. Put him right here. Because they're not going to – if you put Mark right here, these guys still going to be in the same spot. He just going to come in with him. And he got a better chance to win. He got more room to win. Huntley has more room for error if you if you bring him in. Reduce the split. That's too tight. 
Secondly, the pass pro ain't bad. The pass pro ain't bad. The pass pro ain't bad at all. Now, I don't know why Huntley Stone is right here. Because he's like completely covered. And is behind. I don't know if in his mind he's like, I'm just going to go to Mark and he going to win. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But he has two other options in my eyes. And everybody knows the two options he has. That guy coming, because he's buck naked. Or that alley that's opening right there. And if he hit that alley right there, opening up right there, the only person really got a chance to tackle him is that guy. And we'll see the alley better from the back view. But let's see what Hollywood's thought at. Hollywood not even in his frame. So, again, put Andrew right here. Put Hollywood right there. And that way, that gives that gives his that gives Hollywood a chance to maybe get in 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 um Huntley's frame of vision because even though Hollywood's open, Huntley would have had to been looking like behind him to see that. See what I'm saying? Look how far behind Hollywood Huntley is. I'm sorry. Look how far behind Huntley Hollywood is. He can't see it unless he just stop and look backwards. If he's over here, maybe. And then by this time, you know, Andrew's got more room to work over here. So alignment, to me, screwed this play from the jump. Alignment screwed this play from the jump. And now we get to see the running lane from this, this view right here. There it is right there. There it is right there. And then, even if he starts to turn it up, now he may see this dude coming. But the Packers did a good job of covering Mark. Whoever whoever was covering Mark did a good job of covering him, and it didn't work. So now we've lost. Have we lost three in a row? Jeez. And we got to have this Bengals game. Got to. Because I don't think we even in the playoffs right now. I think we like the eighth seed. But again, hey, man, I appreciate you guys for rocking with me. Hour and seven minutes. Um, I think it was a good film study. We got the whole second half in here. Didn't get the onside kick, as you can see. But uh, like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, make sure you support all the other Ravens content creators. Uh, we appreciate you. And I know I speak for the rest of them. We appreciate you all. But um, I'll see you guys next. i see you guys Sunday. For us versus the Bengals. Uh, Merry Christmas to you guys. And, again, salute to everybody that support me on the Patreon and all that good stuff. Patreon, cash out. Um, uh, super chats, all that good stuff. Merry Christmas to you guys, man. And I'll see you Sunday.